Hey Sarah, Laura Park Lincoln here. First, I, I wanna thank you so much for even um, considering to chat with me about what makes a good final girl or what, not even a good final girl, it's like how to create a final girl, in my opinion. I am uh, sitting here in my studio. Um, I own Actors Audition Studios, so I have plenty of actors for you for your films, and don't forget about me when you're writing um, some characters, okay? But um, I did come up with, did I come up with five or six? I came up with five things um, that I think are critical to being and creating a final girl. And one of them, the first one is they have to, she has to have something to save or someone to save. There has to be a burning desire in her that she has to continue on no matter what. In Tina's case, not only was it her mother and then her love for, for Nick, but she was trying to save herself. You know, she had been through so much trauma as a young girl. And um, of course she was motivated by, by saving her mother in the film and protecting those close to her. Um, a lot of that was an internal struggle that she was doing. I think that, you know, I know that final girls have to believe in themselves above all else, even if they may seem that they lack confidence or that they're trying to deal with like social anxiety kind of a feeling or something like that, or they're scared to death. They need to have a sense that, that they do believe in themselves and that they will get through it, you know, that they kind of have that, that they have that inner, that inner fire, that inner passion, I guess you would say. Um, in my opinion, final girls have to be thoughtful. And what I mean by that is they, they have to be able to use their eyes to think through the situations that they're in and to um, be able to communicate that to the audience. So it's like, you know, you know, when you're writing this and when you're shooting it and the actress that you choose, I really feel like you need to find someone who can hold the audience's attention by being thoughtful. Like the, the actress is, is able to look at the things around her, assess a situation, and the audience can feel that. And of course, a huge amount of that is is your your DP, obviously, and your editor. I mean, those two are the ones that truly make the film, right? Um, where would we be without without editing? You know, thank God for editors. But um, thoughtfulness. I I really believe that they need to they need to be able to portray feelings and thoughts about things just with their eyes. Okay, so the next one I came up with is while they're vulnerable, I think they need to have a very deep sense of strength. Uh, it could be physical, it could be mental, um, it, it, it could be that they're just fighting for their own lives, but I, I do think, and of course they have to be vulnerable because the audience wants to feel for them so that they'll win, so that they'll be the final girl, but there's always gotta be a sense of strength in there, that that, that chick's just gonna make it happen. You know what I mean? That that she is just gonna take care of it one way or the other, um, which is certainly what my character Tina did, right? Um, and, and here's one that I think a lot of people forget, Sarah, is a sense of lightness and a sense of humor. You know, these characters, they have to have a place to lighten up. You know, like Tina got kind of giggly and silly and uh, with Nick and she'd, she would look at situations and think they were kind of funny, dribbled throughout the script of course but i think you really have to dig in for those moments of lightness you know, even if it's just a little touch because it makes them human you know how if we go to a, a funeral or something like that um we still find some lightness in it you know there's there's some laughter and there's some giggly looks among, among the family members and friends that's just human and i think to to uh, write a final girl that doesn't have any likeness at all, doesn't get any jokes. I don't think that that feels like a real person to me. So those were a couple of my thoughts. Uh, I'm not a writer or a filmmaker really, so I don't know if I've helped you at all, but I hope so. And thank you again. 
And please reach out to me again. I've really enjoyed your question. I've enjoyed chatting with you. And I can't wait to um, read, your, read your pieces. You know, I just finished Roseblood. Uh, there's some, there's some uh, trailers about it online, which is the continuation story of Tina 30 years later. It's really cool. I mean, you have to kind of figure out where they put, um, where Tina's been for 30 years. But I like what we did with the story a lot. And, and I, think that, I think that most fans will be really happy with um, where Tina's been and how she has to come out of it. So that's just a little side note. I think you can find some of it on like, um, you know, Facebook or YouTube, something like that. But anyway, you take care. Um, have a fabulous weekend. And uh, I look forward to chatting with you again, Sarah. Bye.